Hey, what's up, guys? What do you guys think of Junior Dos Santos versus Brock Lesnar? They're going to be doing the ultimate fighter with Brock Lesnar, and I don't really know how good of a coach he's going to be because he's just a wrestler and hasn't really shown that he improved that much as a mixed martial artist, but he's going to be going up against Junior Dos Santos, so I guess at the next pay-per-view, whenever that is around probably June, he will be fighting Junior Dos Santos as the um, main event. What do you guys think? Do you think Junior DeSantos is just going to do like a lot of other fighters and uh, strike him and um, Brock's just going to fold under the pressure of getting his ass kicked? I can see that happening, but Brock Lesnar has 40 or I think 30 pounds on top of um, Junior DeSantos, and I think he will use his size and hold him down and just ground and pound him. I, I can see that happening because Brock is a beast, and we all know Brock can take a hell of a punch because he took a punch from Shane Carwin, and Shane Carwin pretty much put the ass whooping him on a lifetime on him. And um, we can see if uh, Junior DeSantos just comes in there and starts swinging and landing a bunch of punches, Brock Lesnar will back up and probably cover up like this and get beat down. But I don't see that happening. I see Brock being the smarter guy and doing what he did the Cain Velasquez, actually running in there and shooting on him. And because Brock Lesnar's like 280, 290 pounds when he fights, um, he's going to have a big size advantage on Junior DeSantos. I'm not saying Junior DeSantos doesn't have a chance. Junior DeSantos, I heard, is a black belt Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and he's a, a tremendous boxer. But even... Um, Junior Dos Santos couldn't stop Roy, Roy Nelson, and Roy Nelson was a bigger fighter, so that that's going to be a question. Can he stop Brock Lesnar? Um, has Brock Lesnar improved? Yeah, he's improved since he's uh, fought in MMA. He's done um, beating um, Frank Mir twice, beat um, Min Soo Kim. He's beaten Randy Couture. He beat um, Shane Carwin by triangle choke. And he does know some submissions, but he hasn't really done a lot of them. If you watch the fight when he fought, um, what's his name? Um, when he fought uh, the Texas, Texas Crazy Horse, Heath Herring, um, after he punches him and knocks Heath Herring across the cage, he does get him in a guillotine choke, like a guillotine choke. But, um... I don't know. I don't see Brock doing a submission in this fight. I see Brock either landing a crazy strong punch or beating him on the ground like like he did Frank Mir. Just ground him and pound him. But that's, a, that's saying I'm not holding anything against um, Junior DeSantos. I think Junior DeSantos has a hell of a chance in this fight if he does what um, Shane Carwin did and if he follows the game plan that basically... Cain Velasquez did by just pressuring him and pressuring him. And I don't know if Brock Lesnar just doesn't like to get punished. He's not used to it or what. But um, like um, Randy Couture said, if he's training in mixed martial arts, he needs to be in there. I think it was Kenny Florian said it best. If he's a mixed martial arts, he needs to train and spar a lot and get punched and punched and punched so he's used to it. So he doesn't like when someone punches, he's like automatically – like, flinching up and getting in a turtle position, and then refs off it because he's just getting beat down. But, with that said, what do you guys think? Brock Lesnar versus Junior DeSantos. It was supposed to be Junior DeSantos and Kane Velasquez, but Kane got injured, so that's why it's Brock. So, does that mean if Brock wins, he's still he's the number one contender? Or does that mean... I don't know. But anyways, thanks for watching and enjoying Brock Lesnar versus um, Kane Velasquez. Kane Velasquez. Junior DeSantos, I meant. Anyways, thanks for watching, party people. Peace. Now get that camera on my face, sucker.